Of all the banks in Africa, Ecobank Transnational has the biggest footprint across the continent, with a presence in 36 different countries. This gives a, a unique perspective on the economic climate of the moment. With me here today is Ado Ayemi, the newly appointed CEO of the bank. Mr. Ayemi, what inspired you to join Ecobank? You had a long career at Citigroup. Why did you jump ship? The organization has started and it became as big as it is. Uh, and it's gone through a near-death experience, as you know, in the press in the last two, three years. And when that opportunity came to try and make the institution to forge ahead and create a path forward that will allow you to realize that ambition, is what inspired me to join. You, you, you mentioned the near-death experience. Um, have you managed to put to the past the, the management problems that you've had, or are you still dealing with some of the legacy issues? I, I think the people before me, uh, in, 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 uh, Albert Hessian and the rest of the board, the changing board has happened. Albert and the rest of the team were able to steady the ship. The ship I inherited is well steadied, is actually on course. Our job now is to power through and realize the ambition. I know there will be uh, challenges as we go forward because the economic environment, the political environment, the fact that we're dealing in the African continent, there's always one thing going up or down. But we believe that where we are now, we have sufficient strength to be able to power through. And what is your strategy moving forward? What's going to be different about the direction that you take the bank in from previous? If you look at where we started, with, we have multiple uh, banks that simultaneously rose in multiple countries as individual banks. We then acquired through acquisition and new flags in 33 countries and 30, now about 36 locations in a very rapid succession. So there was a lot of growth. The intention now is consolidation. We've grown, we now need to consolidate and actually have focused execution of our strategy to deliver to our shareholders to create a remarkable experience for our customers and to be able to, through the conduct and the way we do things, to show ourselves as an example of how banking institutions should be run. Are you under any pressure from some of your bigger shareholders to uh, adapt that pan-African vision of the bank that was uh, uh, there at the very outset? Are you under pressure to, for example, um, move out of some of your smaller, less profitable countries? No, we are not under any pressure to move out of less profitable countries. But as you rightly said, if we conduct an activity, draw resources from society, and those activities are not profitable, it's the responsibility of management to scale it to the size where it can be profitable. It is not pressure, it is responsibility. And where are your big growth areas in, in the near term, do you think? If you look across the continent, where we are number one to number three, we actually have good economics there. So in the West African countries, we are number one to number, we're number one in Ghana. In the French countries, we're number one or three. In Nigeria, we're number six. We need to double up there and take that to one to three. In the countries where we, are, we recently opened, we haven't gone to scale there, and therefore we need to figure out how to scale up there. Now, we will not be everything to everybody, we will not be everything everywhere. But depending on the opportunity that is presented in those countries, we will appropriately size our ambition and therefore our resources. Can I just end by asking you how you are weathering the, the, the downturn at the moment? For example, I know that the state oil company in Nigeria, for example, has pulled its funds out of the private banking system and um, brought them back to the central bank. Is that something that's affected you badly? The word affected, yes, but I don't want to use the word badly because we realize that the ambition of the government of Nigeria is to try and create an environment in which leakages are blocked and there's efficiency and transparency in the conduct of government affairs. If that happens, which is what we are hoping for, therefore it's a future that all of us should desire and working environment all of us should be ready to contribute to. So I wouldn't want to look at it in a negative sense that it affects us badly, but yes, we have to adjust because money is being taken from us and put in central bank. 
But at the end of the day, it is a price worth paying to have a stable operating environment in the largest economy in Africa where we are heavily invested. Mr. Ayayemi, thank you very much indeed. It's a pleasure.